Welcome to the Benny Rizzuti Show. And tonight's show is what I like to call the Almost My Birthday Show. <laughs> and uh, my birthday is Sunday, so I'm going to be uh, 25 for uh, the second time. And, uh, That's all? i got a few years to spare in between there. And uh, <laughs> 30. Actually, I should tell people I'm 30 and a half because I'm going to be 61. And... Uh, this Sunday, so I invited, I went on social media and invited all my friends. I said, anyone who wants to come, you don't have to be a singer, you don't have to be a comedian, just be fun. You could come on my show, and Anita Bloomfield showed up. <laughs> so she's my only guest, and uh, somebody that, someone who I'm not happy with, he kept messaging me. I'm, I'll come on the show, I'll come on the show, but if he came on... It would probably be the first show where somebody beat up a cripple. <laughs> That's I'm ornery. I'm very ornery, Anita. I'm What's the matter, Benny? What's the matter? I got a lot of anger. Oh, I got a lot got of a issues. Lot of anger. What and it's doing? not the age. You know, usually it's, I'm getting older. It's, it's people. No, yeah. It's well, like, they're the worst. I hate people. And on, <laughs> so, on social media, they're such idiots. It, well, it's that's like, why. Because the older you get, <clears throat> the more wisdom you have from being around and then you have all these other things floating around out there and it's like what i know i, I know it's that like walks a... and talks what is that? <laughs> <laughs> that actually knows how to breathe nobody yeah. had to teach that thing how to... <gasps> in a... In a... <laughs> oh my yeah no it's a so be but i'm wearing i wore this jacket on the last show you gave it to somebody to uh I and, gave and Tom Mealy one, which is uh, the same one. No, oh, different. you took that no, one back. No, 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 no. He's an is Indian we, giver. We don't have a picture of it. <laughs> his has uh, his has the stripes on one side and blue with the stars on the other oh. side. Oh. His is okay. like half and half. This one has. This one looks like as uh, Nigel Fullerton said last week. It makes me look like a postage stamp. <laughs> but I'm wearing this in protest. Okay. I'm wearing I'm wearing this a protest. I uh, figure okay. What or whom? People have people have protested right now, a lot of sports figures. They're not standing for the national anthem. Uh, some of them are showing uh, their power to the people. Uh, I'm please. wearing Don't this get me started. No, no, wait, wait, <laughs> listen to me. I'm okay. wearing this power to America. Yes. We're all American. We're yes. all American, regardless of if you are an American citizen, if you're black, if you're white, if you're yellow, if you're green, you're probably something that Michael Jackson used to wear. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Michael Jackson. No, I know I love him too. You're American, too. and we have a problem. Let's find the solution. So I'm wearing this to remind everybody that we're Americans, and also I don't want a civil war over two nominees. For pre two presidential nominees are causing a civil war. You know, we're going to actually have, we're going to take out the muskets and the <laughs> cannons soon. Well, maybe you'll have a musket. I'll have a phaser. <laughs> oh, you're going to the future? <laughs> yeah, I'm going into the future, man. <laughs> you know, a lot of things, I'm a science fiction fan, and a lot of things in science fiction happened. Yes. Things that they actually yes. happened. And, yet, you know. That's why all, Star Trek 50 years is right. still relevant the doors. today. They didn't have, and start the doors, yeah. we, we invented that. They showed, and we, the only thing we don't have is their sensibility. Like they all, in the future, you have the future where they even, everybody gets along. They don't all love each other, but they get, in Star Trek, they get along and they don't use money. Can we figure out, can we invent a way to get through society without <laughs> using money? I think that would be a Man, good 70%. Man, that I would be rich. <laughs> You'd be rich? Oh, I'd be rich. 
Holy cow, if you don't need money, whew. I'd be like my mom. My mom always used to say, back in the day of checks, remember? Well, yeah. oh, I, I still write checks. I don't like paying <laughs> do stuff too. online. I don't know. I'd like to see it, feel it, watch it disappear. But my mother used to say, as long as I got checks, I got plenty of money. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a certain... Were they bad checks? I mean, no, actually, they were all good. Your they mom really had were money. all good. Yeah. But, you know, but she would say, it was just, you know, it was a figure. It's tough it was now. It's funny. Tough. It was just a funny thing that she would all say right. a lot of funny things. Yeah. Your pockets ching and a wing. And yeah, well, yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, hope it's you, I hope it's your phone. <laughs> yeah, it's my phone. It's my okay, phone. It's just, it. <laughs> you well, know, I never know what kind of noise these old people I make. Just, I want you to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to ask you your age. I don't uh, know not if you want to you live, you're not going to ask me my age. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to live to see your birthday, you're not asking me my age, all right? There we go. <laughs> this is going to be fun. You were like, what are we going to... So, <laughs> it's not going to be just the two of us talking. I want to get that straight now. Anita's going to sing at the end of the show. She's going to sing a few songs because she's a singer. I brought a few videos. There's going to be some surprises in the video. I have some videos. So, my... Because I figure it... It's my birthday. I could cry if I want to. That's or right. I can party. That's right. And I'm partying. As this long as I don't I'm have party. to say the pledge to you and your jacket, you know. I mean, that's... <laughs> I want you... Will you sing the national anthem for me, then? If you wanted me to. Great. And then I'll throw a baseball at you. <laughs> Play ball. <laughs> no, but first you got to get on. Gonna go in go. church. In church <laughs> once in a while. I go to church on Sundays. I didn't go this past Sunday. Oh, uh, you're Sorry, going to hell. But I, no, I go almost every Sunday. You know they're so, going to make hell great again. while they sing God Bless America? <laughs> and when they sing it, I always in church because it sounds oh. so beautiful. I always want to yell, play ball! <laughs> I always want to yell at it at the end, play ball! Well, that is the last two words of the anthem. <laughs> play ball. I always want to do that in church. I don't know why. But I, I behave. I behave because... I go to the church. That priest will come I, over and smack you out. That's why you behave. <laughs> one of the priests is uh, my friend who I made my communion with, his brother. Really? His older brother. Yeah, he's great. He's wonderful. But uh, I go to the church where I made my communion, where I, I uh, you know, made my confirmation, got married. Oh, I go to that. Boy. That's you got the church a lot of I history in that church. Son, a lot of so they know. That's me. nice. That's nice. Though. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes you see people you haven't seen in a long time, and you. You know, you know, it's like you don't want to go up to you know. You reach an age where yeah, when you're younger, well, well, and you you're don't have school, to talk to people if you don't want to. <laughs> Just oh, like, there's what's his name for that? Uh, <laughs> what is that? Yeah, yeah, but no, you know, it's church. See, I go up to everybody. You do? Everywhere. Still? Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. I, Once in I a can't while, shut but up. then sometimes I, you know. <laughs> I ran into this uh, girl I went to high school with, and we were fun. She was like a tomboy, but then okay. I, I went, I went up to her. I saw her a couple of years ago. Found out she lives near where I live now, and uh, I saw her. She's she's told me a last name, and she said, uh, "Let's say uh, O'Doul, right?" She said O'Doul, and I'm still crazy. <laughs> and I said Rizzuti, <laughs> likewise. <laughs> See, that was nice. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, but she was saying, I run into people here and there, but I'm quiet. But uh, I'm a quiet guy, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's so shy. He's as shy as I am. Sometimes. I'm, sometimes I'm, I'm shy. shy. <laughs> sometimes, you know. Yeah, that's when they usually have a bullet along the bottom of the screen. <laughs> he was a nice guy. Rizzuti was quiet today. <laughs> Speaking of news, big yes. news for... Um, Today, so just to let you know, today is uh, Tuesday, September 20th, 2016. So anything we talk about that's going to be happening happens today, or uh, my birthday is uh, the 25th Sunday, and uh, feel free to send me anything you want. Just send it to the studio. I'll take uh, scotch. I, take, I love chocolate. Make it cheap for you. Chocolate, gift cards, whatever you want to get me. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. So, uh, anyway. so what kind of news anyway, you got? Anyway, big news. I got big news for you. Oh, boy. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. You Angel can't even I say can't it. Say He's it. so excited. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt split up. Oh. They split up. We have a picture. I'm shocked. So we're going to show that picture. Aww, uh, that's, aww. And. That's a shame. The, when she heard the news, 
This is a picture they took of Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> and uh, it looks like she's happy. She's applauding. And, you know, a lot of these Hollywood marriages and a lot of these uh, these celebrity uh, relationships, right, yeah. they split up. They don't yeah. last long. No. I'm happy to announce that... They How long were they married? Six years, seven years. All right. But I'm happy to announce that Andy and I are still... A, we're still an item. So... Who? Andy Warhol and I. Oh, Andy Warhol? Yeah. See, you're still Andy an and I. We're still. Oh, you're still an item. He's a wax figure. So yes. That's, <laughs> that's probably why the relationship works so great. Andy, you want to watch the game? <sighs> if I see you smoking around Andy, I'll know that that thing's coming to an end. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You'll melt the guy. <laughs> just melt. I don't smoke near Andy. Doesn't okay. like smoke. Andy's but you know Andy Warhol was very religious. Was he? Just, uh, very. Went to uh, went to church every Sunday with his mom. Well, his okay. parents were Polish immigrants. He was very proud of it. He was proud of the fact that his father was a coal miner. Oh, my and grandfather was a coal miner. My mother's dad. I, yeah. I never met him. Uh, he was gone by the time I came along. But, yeah, so my mama was a coal miner's <laughs> daughter. Yeah. He was an interesting man. I, I, I find Andy Warhol intriguing. And I know you could find he went on both ends of the spectrum. He he went to the upper echelon rich people, yes. and he went down to the drug addicts. <clears throat> Some of his movies were just, he would just have a camera rolling on people who were drug addicts. And stuff. Ooh, okay. And there was a, forget the movie, I think it was called Chelsea Girls, and it got a lot of recognition in the city. And a lot of people went there, it, was, it became like an art house movie. He just rolled the camera on, you know. Wow. And uh, so he went, and he went high and low, but if people... Uh, I saw a documentary and somebody who worked for Andy said, uh, Andy, why do you have these sleazy people hanging around over here? And he said, that's not nice. Don't, don't call them. They might, what do you th they might think the same of you. You know, he was interested. He was wow. interested in people. Okay. He was interested. I don't know the man, so I can't, you know, I don't want to make him out to be a, a hero or, a, you know, he wasn't a bad guy, though. But, you know, he was... And so he was why am I he, talking? Yeah, he definitely, yeah. Yeah. Was oh, he was interesting. You know, it was great to have people like that. Yes. Take a take a painting of Marilyn Monroe and make it four different squares and different colors. And, and the soup can. The, the soup, soup can. can. And what was brilliant? Is he got rich people to spend thousands of dollars, dollars on it. He was That's not so brilliant. stupid. <laughs> he didn't make money on his movies, but he made thousands of dollars on the soup can, the Brillo boxes. I wonder That's if he had amazing. to pay royalties to the soup Yeah, you know, I was thinking that, the same you know? thing. I don't know. I, uh, you could call me if you have my cell number. <laughs> Give me a call and let us know. <laughs> All right, if you're watching the show. And uh, remember. It's 1-800-I'm-a-good-boy. Right it, <laughs> I love you a long time. <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, yeah. I, I'm talking about Andy Warhol because my son is a... Uh, has his uh, bachelor's degree in film filmmaking okay. and film study. So he gives me the movie news. They're making an all new Andy Warhol biopic. Oh. So there's been two. There was uh, that oh, really? weren't really biopics. Okay. Uh, I shot Andy Warhol, which is an excellent movie, and uh, Factory Girl, which is about you know his studio was the factory and people. It was about the the rich girl. I don't remember her name, but she was the one that made the connections for him with the wealthy people. Oh, okay. And she's the one that, but then she uh, lost money. She went, you know, she had, great things didn't happen for wow. her. He, she was a model. She was attractive, but making his movies and doing Andy Warhol modeling didn't, it wow. wasn't good for your reputation. So I wonder who they get to play him. That would be interesting you, casting. Oh, they they cast him already. Oh, they did? Yes. Can you say? I can tell you. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you heard I, it here first. It's a scoop. Ben is scooping it out. Jared Leto. <laughs> Who? The actor Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Okay, you know, he played in Suicide Squad. He was the Joker. Oh. He's oh. the latest Joker. He's also a singer in a band. I know a very popular band, so my son will kill me that I don't remember the name but he's also he's a rock and roller. Oh wow! And he was uh, he won best supporting actor as a transgender uh, woman in uh, the the movie that uh, Matthew McConaughey also won actor the Dallas something club 
Where I don't know. Matthew McConaughey has AIDS. You don't know God, the movie? You see, oh, I don't see, wow, I don't see any of this stuff. Send more women. <laughs> Send somebody who knows. I'm women. totally clueless. With you all don't that. watch movies. You know, Le- I haven't. Anyway, Jared Leto, you know who he is. He was in last month's, uh, last month's uh, magazine, one of those rock and roll magazines. Okay. So I'm not going to say the name. No, you, when you talk about movies, you know, and, and this is something that even today it was hitting me. They were advertising some other new movie coming out with this, you know, monster thing. Blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know, it. I don't know. And, and, and you mentioned the Star Trek thing. The Star Trek thing, and they, <coughs> and they did come out and say it, it gave people hope that there was a future that, um, you know, because we had the whole communist thing everybody was oh, the Russians are coming but um, you had this sense that oh yeah well you know we're out in space so you know th- there's hope there's hope that this and now everything they make it's gloom and doom and the destruction of the earth and they got this show now with Kiefer Sutherland he's right. the last person the last, uh, may, person he may be the last honest politician because he's not a politician I don't know because they all get poof but I'm just thinking <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, you know, I, I mean, I would like to read that. Uh, yeah, they keep Anita sh- Bloomfield's <laughs> review. They all go, poof, poof. <laughs> but, you know, everything they throw at you now, it's all... Post-apocalyptic. Yes, yeah. yeah, and I'm, I'm not, I don't like it. I'm not liking it. And you know much. what's a shame is real, true science fiction, as I told you, I'm a science fiction fan. Science fiction, usually, there's hope. Yes. There is some kind of hope, even if it is, uh, even if you know you you uh, stranded on a deserted planet somewhere. There's hope. Twilight Zone episodes. There was usually hope. Sometimes you thought there was hope, and oh, at yeah. the very Sometimes end, they teach you a little lesson. You, you got taught a lesson. <laughs> you got taught a lesson. Uh, Twilight Zone was real science fiction, though. Yes. Most of most of the episodes. You know, yeah, even like the person who went. Back to Dachau, a Nazi who went back to Dachau many years later and found out that the Jews who he, who he uh, exterminated, their ghost was still there. And they get him. I bet they, they were happy to see him. Yeah, they were real happy to see him. They were, yeah. Ah, uh, you want to come over here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, so some, some of those episodes were really good. But that... But so yeah, there was no is, hope. Everything is the end of the world now, and, yeah. and it's like uh, I don't know what's going on in Hollywood. But I, I, I really am not liking all of, and and even all of the TV shows. You know, years ago they said when they got rid of all of the um, westerns, they said all of a sudden you're not going to find a tree or anything anywhere. They got rid of all the westerns, all the variety shows. Now it's all competitions and all. Excuse you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm making noise here. <laughs> I, hit You're my ma- I brought my mailbox. My, my, uh, Your mailbox? No, my the lunchbox. lunchbox. Oh, my, my God. God. I couldn't say Angelina <laughs> Jolene. I can't say lunchbox. <laughs> this would be great. A Betty Boop mailbox. I would yeah. love that. But, yeah, I brought this just in case if we need more videos. Is that, is that Betty classic? Betty Boop cartoons are oh here, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, DVD. My God. Yeah. I like Betty Boop. Yes, I'm not gay. I like Betty Boop, and I'm not gay. <laughs> Everybody likes okay. Betty Boop. Even Andy Warhol and I, that's just a thing. <laughs> I have a thing for wax figures. I had pictures of me and Janis Joplin, mm. but I couldn't find them. And people, get, I actually okay. have a picture. I'm going to put it up tonight on social media. So if you're watching this, me uh, fondling Angelina Jolie while she's next to Brad Pitt. Oh, is that another wax figure thing? Yeah! Oh, you, you out of there? Me. Come on! What? <laughs> <laughs> You've seen that one before? No, but I figured it out. <laughs> Some women don't like it. They, they say, I've used that as my uh, profile picture itself. So. Oh, my God. And then when I change it, this picture is so much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm just having fun. I went I went with my wife. I've told this story in the past, but I'll tell you. This, oh, he's going to tell a, it again. Hold this is a fun story. Though. This is a fun <laughs> It better be. He's yeah. telling it again. We went to the city. Once in a while, Nancy and I would like to go to the city. We went into Madame Tussaud's Wax Museum, which you have to go on Broadway there. It's beautiful. So I was like, well, we'll go. Well, who cares? So you had a little grab fest in there? I had a grab fest. Nancy, not as bad, but me, 
Even except when I got to Whoopi Goldberg, I just looked at Whoopi in the eyes. We just looked, it was like oh, no. Whoopi, even though she was a wax yeah, figure. She'll come like, to life and she'll get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even as a wax figure, I was like, if the real Whoopi finds out, oh, I'm she will hunt you me. down. She will hunt me down and beat my butt. So I, I, I Whoopi and I, there's just a picture of us looking in the eyes, you know. Okay. But uh. But yeah, I started, and Nancy was taking pictures. I started just going, me and Janice Joplin. Yeah, she's a better the wax me, bigger than me. <laughs> oh, yeah, a, me and Angelina That's Jolie. That's you, Nancy. They had Jimi Hendrix with the guitar. So I went down and I'm biting the guitar. I think that's oh in the intro, God. right? Or it wasn't. Okay. And, uh, but uh, that's me biting the strings, like because Jimi <laughs> Hendrix used to play with his teeth. So I'm doing that. Me and Andy Wall, me and Woody Allen, me and Babe Ruth. But it, but I'm, you know, some of the women I'm going up and I'm, you know, messing with. I kissed Anderson Cooper on the cheek. Oh, so, did he kiss you back? Then we get to, <laughs> from that room, we get to the presidential suite. Ah. And there's all these presidents and very important figures. There's Malcolm X there, Martin Luther King. And I'm looking at them and I'm reading because you can read about them. So this young little black boy, I'd say maybe nine, ten years old, so they asked me about it, and I'm like, oh, this is Malcolm X, and I'm very, and I'm done. Now, I always wanted to be a school teacher. Aww. I think that's my, one of my biggest regrets is that I didn't get a degree and become a teacher. I think I would have been a good English teacher and maybe a lot of, you know, useless information you don't need. I, <laughs> I'm, that, I'm your teacher for that. So I'm telling them stuff, and all of a sudden Nancy's like, Benny, Benny, come on, Benny, Benny. So... <laughs> She calls me away from him. And I tell you, know, his teacher, she calls me away and she says, Benny, his family has been following us through this whole museum, watching you fondle these different wax figures, and now you're talking to a little boy. Do you see what is wrong with this picture? Do you realize you're doing something here? You, you realize the FBI is hiding. Oh my God! The FBI and detectives are hiding behind plants and stuff. They're getting ready to jump. They're getting out. ready to jump. And they think I'm a pedophile or something. Oh they my think God. so. And I can't I imagine. I think where I said it think. earlier that I'm kind of oblivious. I'm kind of. So I had no idea. You know, I was having fun. They're wax figures. <laughs> yes, they're wax, you know. I wouldn't then, think to do that, but okay. Oh, women, <laughs> listen. Women are just as bad. Because I, I would not do that. You wouldn't, but your, your friends would. Okay? <laughs> Elvis, poor Elvis, doesn't have, they have to, they have to give Elvis new pants every week. Oh, my okay. gosh. Poor Elvis. The women maul Elvis Aww. still. Elvis... Elvis is still alive. He's still and got it. Let me tell He's you. still got it. <laughs> the women are all over there. When no one's looking, they're taking pictures worse than us. Oh my god! And you know the old story. You can have twenty men in a room and five women in a room, and who tells the racier stories, the more provocative, dirty stories? The women. Really? Yes. Oh. I'm hanging out with the wrong crowd. <laughs> <laughs> you're one of them. Come on, you're, right now you're pretty, oh me, I'm a prude. I'm a prude. I just came in to sing Bob. No, Spencer. I'm just very dignified. Very dignified. Sometimes. Okay. We're, we're doing a show this uh, Friday night. I'm very oh, yes. excited about That's that. That's going to be fun. Fun That's with be Stevie fun. GB and yeah. Sandy Chance. And Sandy Chance Simone. Yeah. They're fun. They're fun people. Oh, absolutely. And I'm an MC, and it's going to be a lot. It's going to be good. And you're going to sing. It's like a dinner show. So yeah. you're going to sing during dinner? Yes. And then I'm going to come up and say a few words and say, I have no idea who this who woman, this woman is. is. She just wandered in here. She just wandered in. We kick it here. off. Here's your, I, I'm going to shop and go. Here's your shop and go. Put a few bags in. All right. Take care. Thanks. We'll call you in the next gig because uh, that's how good you are. Pretty pretty soon they should have like the homeless comedians show. <laughs> so, because what, some of you comedians out there who are in your 30s and 40s, when your parents die, you're going to be homeless. That's right, because you're going to lose all your material. You're going to lose too. every year. They're living, I'm living in my parents' basement. How old are you? 45. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. They still feel like they're in a they're the one, house. But, Comedy is my life. I do, co you know, like me. I'm not a comedian. I perform stand-up comedy. They I host have shows, to suffer for but their I work. Art. I work. I'm a machinist. <laughs> all right, I'm a machinist. So I agree. But these comedians that I'm a full-time comedian. Full-time comedian. You're living in your parents' garage. 
Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that means and they it, just tell jokes to their friends all day. Your bed is the back seat of the Chevy Cruze. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got to tell you, when you're talking about women being, um, my, my, my folks, they're gone now. They rest in peace. Mine too. Um, But I, I, I got a wealth of information and material from them, you know, so (laughs) when they, when they was still in the house together, you know, my brother was, was gone. I was out and married and (laughs) I stopped over there one day and you know, if they're fighting they're doing all right, you know. So they were having a thing that afternoon, and they were on the patio. And That's my the father older was, generation. oh my god! But my father was complaining and carrying on, and I said, "What's going on?" And my mother was already starting with the dementia, you know. Yeah. And uh, so my father says, "Every time I put something down, she's got to move it. She put something here, she's got to put it over there." Well, I told you to stop moving stuff around. So with that. Very innocent. My mother picks up a long neck beer bottle. My father was a beer drinker. And she picks up, she goes, where would you like me to put this? (laughs) I swear to God. And I'm standing there and my old man just gives her a look like. And I said, I'm out. I'm out. (laughs) I just left. I couldn't couldn't stay there anymore. It was insane. My parents were too (laughs) much with the argument. My grandparents on my mother's side, they were like very mellow. But they still had their, they would do their uh, their little digs to one. My, uh-huh. my, my grandfather, though, he would, God bless him, he lived to be uh, in his mid-80s or oh, so. Oh, good. And he used to smoke a cigar and a pipe mm-hmm. all the time. Not cigarettes, but... That was my dad. But that was my father used pipe. to say, it's the paper in those cigarettes. You know, but uh, cigarettes you inhale and cigars and pipes you don't. You don't. So yeah. there is a little bit of a... Um, so, and... <laughs> and he'd be walking, and every time he would just get up and move, and my grandmother would go after and clean. And then he would move and do something else, and my grandmother would go and clean. And then she'd look at me and say, he's killing me. He's Aww. killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandfather is killing me. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. But they, they were fun. They were, oh, my, both, my father's parents, they were fun, too. My father's parents, uh, they came from Italy also. They came from mm-hmm. Sicily, my mom's family, yeah. and my mother came from Sicily. But uh, my father's parents, they lived in the city, and then they moved. They were the fa- ones that came out, bought property on Long Island, yeah, which a lot of people right. did. Had a tent, and they would pitch the tent and build the house. And that's how a lot of these houses <laughs> wow. got built. They got, and my grandfather had a lot of property in West Babylon. And I remember that the backyard was like an acre, and it was all tomato plants. There was nowhere for oh, a kid yeah. to go. Oh, yeah. And then, then the weather now, now getting close to October, They'd have all the tomatoes and they'd boil them and they'd stir them and then my grandma would can them. Canning it. Oh, yeah. And in the basement, that's all my grandfather had was, uh, to, you know, sauce, ready uh, to, ready canned tomatoes and wine. <laughs> yeah. Wine. All my family, they're, they're not doing the wine that much. I, I really want to. I got to set up an area in my basement and make, make the make wine. Make some homemade wine. But it's easy it's now. You go to Canarsie. Yeah, they sell these... You buy no, no, not it. that kit. You oh. buy, no, don't buy the kit. Don't buy the kit. No Listen kit. to me. Listen to Benny. My father used to grow his own grapes, and I have that too. Wine, but, but that's I have sense, them. But then you got to make sure the grapes are good. Listen to me. Go to Brooklyn. <laughs> you bring yourself a, a wooden uh, container, a barrel. They keep it in. Go to Brooklyn. Bring the barrel. Just carry pick, this wooden barrel no, around. No, you it bring it in It doesn't weigh much. About fifty-five pounds. Yeah, you know, just carry truck. it around with you. you All right. <laughs> I'm glad you're here to clear that up. <laughs> you bring that, uh, I need a drink. Of he needs a drink. You bring the barrel. You pick out the grapes you want. You could get white grapes. You could get the black grapes, you know, the dark, whatever kind of grapes. Concord. Purple grape, yeah. Concord, the different wine grapes. You pick out what you want. They squeeze it there for you. No more. I you did that with my uncle. Ah. I did the old fashioned. Oh, yeah. Man, it takes all day doing well. that. To, Hydraulic, and here's your wine. You got it, you put it in. By Thanksgiving, my family was drinking it. <laughs> One uncle's house, my father used to say when we were kids, if you want soda or something, ask us, because he says you don't know what bottle. They, they were oh, putting sure, in. they would reuse the bottles, of so, course, yeah. yeah the two liter soda bottles <laughs> all on the table. And you could, you know, if you're not an idiot, like, 
What's so, wrong with little Benny? Yeah. Okay. If you're not a Benny, if you're not a Benny, you'll tell that that's not cola. That's He's not drunk on ale. soda. Oh, my God. What's with this kid? <laughs> now I messed up hey, That's my good hand. stuff. Oh, that's good God. stuff. I have to tell you a story. Your kids ever say anything that really embarrass you? Yeah. That just really, well... I have to tell the story. Years ago, I'm not going to say my daughter's name because it's going to be bad enough people know me and they know her and she's going to kill me, but i got to tell the story. We, we were uh, on, on vacation with my husband. We went to like Arizona or something like that, and they had one of these, um, you go to this little western town in the middle of the desert, and uh, they had the ponies going around and a, a, a little saloon place with, all, you know, with music and all in there and the gift shop and all. So my daughter was probably about four, four, maybe five. And um, back then, the video cameras, you know, were pretty good size. You know, yeah. it didn't have the backpack thing, but it was still a camera like that. And it had the eyepiece that you pull out, and it was that rubber eyepiece. And after having the camera for a while, uh, the eyepiece would, would come loose, you know. So and especially walking with it, if it hit up against you, it would pop off. So I was in charge of the camera that day. We're doing this, that, these, and those. And um, I'm walking the hookup meet up with my husband. And, uh, and I noticed the piece is missing. And I said, oh, my God. So I said to my daughter, oh, my God. Oh, your father's going to come in. Wow, wow, what's the matter? And I said, you know, the rubber thing that, 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 from Daddy's camera. Daddy's the rubber thing. That, that, Daddy's going to kill me. He's gonna, that, we got to look for it. So we're looking all around. Let's retrace our steps. We go back and we wind up in the gift shop. And I looked all around in there and I said, oh, what the so we're looking for it. And then I'm waiting for this lady's attention. And she says, oh, can I help you? Because I'm thinking maybe she found it. And my daughter says, have you found my daddy's rubber? <laughs> 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 I never expected that to come out of my mouth. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, I'm standing there. Wait, so then I just... Put my hand on her and I said, we're from New York. <laughs> just turned around and walked out. <laughs> what do you do? We did find it. I don't remember what. All right, we did find it. But anyway. Oh, my God. You say <laughs> things like that. You know, they don't know. I my know, son, but I, I was guess. driving. My son used to open the window. Like if we were at a light and there was a car, my son would roll down the window and yell, 666. <laughs> and he said, Dad, you know what that is? The Antichrist. <laughs> yes, the devil. <laughs> yeah, the devil. He would yell that out. <laughs> and my, my son was singing Frank Zappa songs at three years old. So. Oh, my gosh. And I, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Anyway, since anyway. we're talking about fun, we're going to break and show a video of... Okay. I'm going to tell you my favorite stand-up comedian. This is a stand-up comedian, famous one. Uh, gone but not forgotten. All right? My favorite... Stand-up comedians are, uh, all right, I got to say Lenny Bruce, but Richard Pryor, mm -hmm. Flip Wilson, oh, yeah. and this white guy, Rodney Geraldine. Dangerfield. So <laughs> oh, here's a little, Rodney. Uh, little Rodney Dangerfield, I think, is coming. Any minute now. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting to and it. You don't get no respect. You know? I get no respect. <laughs> hey, who? Last week I was in rough shape, you know? <laughs> now, last week I told my wife I need a home improvement loan. She gave me a thousand dollars to move out. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, my wife, there's always something, you know? Well, the other day I called her up. I said to her, honey, I've been thinking about the last time we had sex. I'm getting excited. She said, who is this? <laughs> now, I'll tell you, my wife, she never went for me. Well, the first time I called her up, she told me, come on over, there's nobody home. I went over, there was nobody home. <laughs> my wife, she drives me nuts. She was afraid of the dark, she saw me naked, now she's afraid of the light. <laughs> no, I tell you, that's all right, that's okay. I'll tell you. No, I tell you, actually, I shouldn't tell jokes about my wife. I mean, she's attached to a machine that keeps her alive, the refrigerator. <laughs> and I tell you, my wife, she can't cook either. My house, we pray after we eat. <laughs> I bought a pressure cooker, now I eat off the ceiling. <laughs> What a lousy cook. I don't think meatloaf should glow in the dark. 
I mean, she can't cook at all. She made chocolate mousse and antler got stuck in my throat. I'll tell you my trouble. I got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombox. Know my doctor? And I saw him last week. I told him, Doc, every day I wake up, I look in the mirror, I want to throw up. What's wrong with me? He said, I don't know, but your eyesight is perfect. <laughs> ah, you kid. Now, you kid. I know I'm ugly. I asked the bartender to make me a zombie. Told me God beat him to it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you no, know when you're ugly, all right? Well, Halloween, my wife sends the kids out dressed like me. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the whole story. I'll write the whole story, okay? I mean it. I mean, you know when you're ugly. Well, last Halloween, a kid tried to pull my face off. <laughs> and my kids, they flip a coin and see who has to kiss me goodnight. <laughs> and I was an ugly kid, too. I told my old man, never took me to the zoo. He said, if they want you, they'll come and get you. <laughs> well, that's the story of my life. No respect. I don't got no respect. No respect at all. No respect at all. You kidding me? Well, I was drowning. I was yelling, help, help. And the lifeguard ran over. So they're like, buddy, keep it down. Keep it down. <laughs> yeah, I don't get no respect from anyone. Well, I called up suicide prevention. They tried to talk me into it. <laughs> I'll see you after And we're back we're with the Benny Rizzuti Show. Yay! And my one and only guest, <laughs> Anita Bluefield. Don't be fooled by... Uh, there was a little bumper at the, some of these videos were from the uh, Gagoot show. So they'll say the Gagoot show, they'll have a picture of my two favorite girls that I uh, spent almost two years doing shows with, Jeannie Powers and Nicole Lamonico. Very mm -hmm. talented. They, they, they did some great, yeah. uh, some great shows with them in the yes. past. So, uh, and you'll see uh, a few more pictures of them before the and show then is there's over. Me. And there's you. <laughs> And you brought a goodie bag. What's oh, in the bag? Oh, yeah, now, one, okay. Mm -hmm. this, you were interested in this one day. I brought this into the cafe. Right. And um, because uh, our little friend there, Wild Bill, had a chicken, remember? And right. I said, oh, look what I got. I, I ran out to my car and I got this little fella. And <laughs> I brought him in. <laughs> look how cute that is. Oh, he does that song, right? Yeah, I got this one, too. That's like a Halloween. Uh, yeah, this is a Halloween one. Oh, yeah, look at that. 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 Look the other guy got stuck. No, he's done. He's oh, done. he's done? Yeah. He reminded me of, he reminded me of my Andy Warhol boyfriend for a minute. Yeah. I look at that looks like she's scolding him. Oh, okay. That was a lot. So these are my chicken people. So yeah, I bring them out every now and then, you know. Uh, he used and to take them out to karaoke and put them up on the stage and people were singing. We'd have the whole flock going. <laughs> and we bring Anita out every once in a while yeah, as well. every once in a while, you know. And, uh, and I got another bag of little All stuff right, here. you got more goodies. Let me see. Yeah. Well, I got a game. You want to play a game? Oh, yeah? It's, a, it's called Guess Again. Oh, I don't know if we could. Oh. And it's, um, yeah, I don't know how you. <laughs> <laughs> I, so. Yeah, it's, it's a guessing <laughs> game on how to open the box. <laughs> Not this end, guess again. Oh, my God. Uh, so you put these uh, cards and, um, okay. <laughs> and you can't see what you are, but you have to try and guess what you are. Oh, it's that game you put the thing on your... Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, Okay. Pick but a it's card. More, fun more than Pick a card. Okay. All right. Oh, you look. You're not supposed to look. I didn't you look. look. Oh, you looked. I didn't Just look. Just pick a card. Just pick a card. Just pick a card. Okay. I didn't look the last I'll time. I'll put it in the head thing. Oh, okay. All right. And you put that on your head. Now, it's, about, it's more fun with more than one person, but 
That's why we have this extra class. Yeah. Of play <laughs> just in case somebody want to drop by. And I'll right. pick a card, and I'm oh, not gonna okay. look, and I'll put it on. Is it upside down? Which way is it? I don't know. Yeah. All right. It's the right way. It's the right way. Okay. Yeah. It don't can't. look. Oh, no, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. Okay. These are for kids. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you could make it a little, oh yeah, you could make it a little wider. They're no, adjustable. Good. Look at that. All right. See that? All right. Now, I, th I think these are questions you ask or something. I, I don't know. I haven't done this in a while. So, no, that's just my stuff. What is yeah. this? Okay. So, you got to ask questions. You got to read the directions. All right. I asked you. All right. You're an All right. adult. All right. Figure it okay. out. All right. Okay. So, I have to, uh, I'll go first. All right. All All right. Am I an object now you're asking me what uh, I, if what what I am. I'm you gonna try. All right. Am I an object? I don't know what I am. Yes. Okay. Am I something you'd find in a house? Sometimes. Sometimes. Am I something you'd use outside the house? Sometimes. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> uh, is it a garden hose? No. Okay. Now I gotta know. Now you gotta ask me questions to figure out what you are. Okay. <laughs> am I an object? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Uh, am I used indoors? No. No, I'm used outdoors. Okay, so I got to know. So you go again, right? Okay, yes. All right, so sometimes indoors, sometimes outdoors. What the heck could that be? Um, am I something you wear? No. Okay, you're okay. right. I'm something outdoors. Uh, <laughs> am I a tool? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask my wife. That's Don't ask a loaded my wife. question. Yes and no, but I'll say no. You are not a tool. No, I'm not a tool. <laughs> All right. You got two more minutes and then this is you done. You gotta ask me. No. Oh yeah. Um 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 uh am, am I a uh something electrical? No. Oh no. Okay. All right. Am I uh Something you drive? Yes. I am. Am I a car? No. Okay. All righty. Am I something a woman would use? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck am I? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say uh, everybody can use this. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so Go ask again. Ask all again. right. So am I something a child would use? Oh, definitely. Oh. So uh, I'm a child's toy? No. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, am I a motorcycle? Yes! All right. Ah! Yay! Ah! Yay! The tool all right. wins. All right. No, oh, my God. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, a, a balloon. balloon. That's why indoors, I never would have yeah. figured that out. I never would. If right, I would have given so, you a so hint or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so, uh, so, you know, remember this is your how I entertain myself, folks. Remember your husband's rubber. I would <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I got one more little toy. One Are more you toy? smarter okay. than a fifth grader? <laughs> oh, and it's a book? Am I smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah, 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 yeah. Never that yet. show used to make me unhappy. <laughs> because you I am you not smarter stu than... You felt stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Let's see, what are you good in? What are you good in? Um, music. How about music? All right. All right. The part of a song that is repeated after the verse is called the rhythm, staff, refrain, Phrase. I would say refrain. Let's see. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes for Benny! All right. Oh, so you use a colored pen. The no, pen this makes is a magic a pen. Because, magic pen, wow. Yeah, it's an invisible pen. So the book is 25 cents, the magic pen is $1,000. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you're smart. What else are you good in? <clears throat> Let me see. Music, history. Yeah, sure. Okay. Huh. The first 13 states were first known as the 13 fill in the blank. This is a music history? No, no, no. This is U.S. history. Oh, I thought you asked me music history. No, no this I is, the, and this is second song. grade. But and wait. what was that question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for a music question. <clears throat> 
The first 13 states were first known as the 13... Union. I say he's going to be wrong. Colonies. Ah, second okay. grade, second grade people, second grade. And, you're, and, wait, wait, and you were and talking boom. about, come on, and you were talking about people on the street, you can't see. What, that is stupid? They are stupid. Oh, they wouldn't know God. that. They wouldn't even know how to read a book. Right, I'll give you one more. They don't know how to tell time with a face clock. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Told my son's friend it was a sundial. The kid brought it outside. So, Mr. Rizzuti, I still don't know what time it is. It's dark. I said, take a flashlight, you idiot. <laughs> That's how the Aztecs did it. Oh, my God. They, they did it in uh, Mesopotamia. Oh. oh, that was such a place? Yeah. All right, let's do the arts. Last question. All right. Okay. The colors yeah. black, gray, and white belong to which of the following categories? See? Yeah. All right. Now, are they warm colors? Neutral colors or cool colors? I would say neutral colors. I would say neutral too. I got to oh, go with you. All right. Now. No, yeah, glad, normally yeah, yeah. I would say cool, but you know. Yes! All you're right. redeemed. All right. And what grade okay. was that? Uh, fourth grade. Wow. Fourth Sorry. Grade. <laughs> Sorry. I use it. You know, they. <laughs> They would not show the cartoons that we grew up with. Oh, God. Because of what they said. They, they, were, they were so violent. And the guys were like, get hit in the head. And they go, Tire. I remember that yeah, one. Yeah, look at the movies. They, People's brain, brains I know. Are but I love one of my favorite lines. It was in uh, one, one of those uh, <coughs> Warner Brothers cartoons. Where a guy got hit in the head. And he said, Tire, turn on the stove, mama. I'm riding the range tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that. What cartoon was that? It was like Yosemite Sam or something oh got hit in the my head gosh. and I'm riding the range. To, and most people won't get it. They used to call a stove a range. So they said, turn on the stove, mama. I'm riding my the gracious. range and <laughs> cowboys ride the range. So that was a, a humor like that. They don't. Anyway, we're going to see if we can recreate that humor. We're going to show two videos now. Okay. We're going to show a coming attractions video of an uh, uh, interview that my wife Nancy did with uh, Caroline, Carolyn Jones. And then we're going to go into a, uh, my son, I, as I mentioned, is a, you know, has his bachelor's in film. One of his film yes. projects, he uh -huh. had me in. It's called Servers. So first we're going to show the coming attractions. Then we're going to show Servers as you get ready to sing. Okay. And Servers was, my son made a movie about being a waiter in a restaurant. Oh. And I came in and did a scene, and I did one take, and I guess they liked it because my son was the director, and the cameraman and everybody were on the ground, rolling around on the ground. <laughs> and, uh, and when it was done... Uh, my son said, what do you think, one take was good? And they were like, yeah, one take, don't don't ruin it. So you'll see, uh, I, it's just my scene, and you'll see Nicole LaMonaco in a quick scene that she was in just before me. And uh, so enjoy these two videos. Roll and then we'll be back with Anita Bloomfield, Anita Starlight Bloomfield, singing yes. for us. <laughs> You're watching the Benny Rizzuti Show. Yahoo! <laughs> Hi, this is Nancy Rizzuti from The Goo Goo Show at MadhouseTV.com, and I'm with comedian Carolyn Jones. And Carolyn, well, we're going to splice in everything that we've already discussed already with you, which has been phenomenal. But there were some specific questions that I wanted to ask you, and I know that you started in comedy um, by going to Governor's and meeting John. But I want to know is, from that point on, um, what, how did you... Uh, you know, how'd you get on to HBO and get, go well, to all these places that yeah. you went and did all your stuff? You know what it is? The funny thing about it, I just took the initiative. Um, you know, I sent out, believe it or not, DVDs. Thailand. And you know, when they say Mexican food, I forgot about Peru. And see, that's what I was telling people about Donald Trump. I said, Donald Trump think everybody that speaks Spanish is Mexican. <laughs> so it wasn't no big thing to me. So this was like a whole new thing. And see, don't forget, like I said, um, my veterans didn't see com comedians. Right. So we have like our, you know, we're like in our own little world. 
So when they said we got our own comedian, I started going everywhere, you know. And uh, the funny thing about it is that um, when I was doing, when I first started, I didn't know where it was going to take me. Because see, in the Midwest, when you say you're a comedian, girl, what you think? Eddie Murphy, Martin right. Lawrence, Joe. All you think is dollar bills. You see dollar bills. You don't care if you're funny or not. You just see dollar bills. Right. You don't realize the work that's put into but it. But you know, I didn't mind the work. That was the thing. I didn't mind. Because, you know, I had the set. But see, when, uh, what's his name, told me, he said, Curlin, your world's going to change. I brushed it off like he was just being, you don't know what you're talking about, please. I'm a comedian. I'm going to win my Oscar in a year. <laughs> I'm a, I already have the dress and the hairstyle I'm going to be wearing. I mean, I'm serious. He told me, you're delusional. I said, oh, no, I know. I'm saying, you know, you I'm going to give you nothing. I'm no kidding you not. You could have gone to chopped cheese. I'd rather be anywhere but here right now. If you were an idiot, that would be a step above on your intelligence scale. Okay. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm part of your horn tonight. Um, no, actually, I'm meeting my husband. He should be here any minute. And I'd like to sit due east. Um, I'm not sure if we have a table due east, but I can ask. Okay. Um, do this for me, please. I can. You know, order. I'll give you my order. Yeah, sure. You want to grab an appetizer or? I I want chicken waffles. Chicken waffles. Chicken waffles. I come here all the time. You make the best chicken waffles. That's the only reason I'm here. Uh, so we don't actually have chicken waffles on the menu. I always come here. I always have chicken waffles. Are you kidding me? You don't have chicken waffles? I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not kidding you at all. Sir, who was your server the last time you were here? The last time I was here, the server was Marissa. Nice lady. Really nice. Sir, I apologize. I don't think Marissa's worked here in 10 years. Are you kidding me? No. I've been coming here. You have Do you know that I probably used to date your grandmother in this restaurant? Well, I would. You know that? You know, I was a bartender for years before you were born. And your parents, if I didn't get them drunk, you would not be here to serve me today. Do you realize that? Well, I got your parents drunk, and they were making love to the Pink Floyd album when it just came out. And if it wasn't for me, and, and it was all because of me eating chicken waffles. You can't get me chicken waffles. You can't talk to the chef. Do me a favor. I'll take care of you. Well, you're right, sir. I, if it wasn't for you, I, I wouldn't be here at all, and uh, my parents would have never met. And uh, I, sh I should probably thank you. Exactly. Uh, I'm gonna Absolutely. Go, I'm going to go get you some goddamn chicken waffles. You're the best. What's your name? Reuben. Reuben. All right, Reuben, like the sandwich. Can you make me a chicken, uh, like a waffle Reuben? That would be like the coolest thing. You just got a waffle iron, a Reuben with a waffle iron. So we don't have a Reuben sandwich on the menu. You don't have Reuben or chicken waffle? What do you have? This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite singers, Anita Bloomfield. If you see her in person, you'll know her as Anita Starlight. Thank you. Thank you, you got Benny. it, <laughs> Thank you, everybody. First number from a very famous movie by uh, Streisand, and uh, who starred in it with her? Hmm. Trivia question. <laughs> Sands career. I think people kind of remember it from Funny Girl as well. And I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>
Thank you, Benny. Thank you oh, for having me. Thank you, me. Anita. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Have a great week. Good night, everybody. Good night. Be well. don't, don't forget to send me a birthday card. Happy birthday, <laughs> Benny. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell. <laughs> Take care.